Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Beautiful Fish of the World Poetic Tour. Goldfish. The goldfish is a freshwater fish. It is one of the most commonly kept aquarium fish. A relatively small member of the carp family, the goldfish is native to East Asia. It was first selectively bred in ancient China more than 1,000 years ago. Goldfish breeds vary greatly in size, body shape, and colors. They come in various combinations of white, yellow, orange, red, brown, and black. During the Tang Dynasty in China, AD 618 to 907, it was popular to raise carp in ornamental ponds and water gardens. During the Song Dynasty, AD 960 to 1279, people outside the imperial family were forbidden to keep the gold or yellow variety, yellow being the imperial color. In 1611, goldfish were introduced to Portugal, then other parts parts of Europe. In the 1620s, goldfish were highly regarded in southern Europe because the metallic scales symbolized good luck and fortune. It became a tradition for married men to give their wives goldfish on their first wedding anniversary as a symbol of prosperous years to come. The tradition died quickly as goldfish became more available and lost status. Goldfish were first introduced in North America in 1850 and quickly became popular in the United States. In the wild, the diet of goldfish consists of crustaceans, insects, and various plant matter. The goldfish is classified as a cold water fish and can live in an unheated aquarium. Like all fish, goldfish do not like to be petted. In fact, touching a goldfish can endanger its health because it can cause the protective slime coat to be damaged or removed, exposing the fish's skin to infection from bacteria or waterborne parasites. The reputation of goldfish dying quickly is often due to poor care. The lifestyle, the lifespan of goldfish in captivity can extend beyond 10 years. Fish bowls are detrimental to the health of goldfish due to the low oxygen and are prohibited by animal welfare legislation. In many countries, carnival and fair operators commonly give goldfish away in plastic bags as prizes. In 2005, Rome, Italy banned the use of goldfish as carnival prizes because of animal cruelty. A fact A fad among American college students for many years was swallowing goldfish as a stunt and as a fraternity initiation process. This was wrong. Goldfish are are also creatures of God, an important point to stress. Koi. Koi is a variety of Amor carp that is kept for decorative purposes in outdoor koi ponds, water gardens, or aquariums. Some of the major colors of this fish are white, black, red, orange, yellow, blue, and cream. Koi became popular in Japan in 1914. Later, they became popular worldwide as pets. In 2018, a Chinese man paid $2 million for one koi fish. Herons, kingfishers, otters, raccoons, minks, cats, foxes, badgers, and hedgehogs are all capable of emptying a koi pond. Koi have been reported to achieve ages of 100 to 200 years. A scarlet koi named Hanako achieved an age of 226 years. The koi has important symbolic meaning in traditional Chinese culture and Japanese culture. In Japan, they are closely associated with the country's national identity, often as a symbol of luck, prosperity, and good fortune. Since the 21st century, along with China's economic growth, The culture of keeping koi has become popular among some wealthy Chinese. How how enjoyable to enjoy a nice garden with a koi pond and a pleasant breeze. Guppies The guppy, also known as the million fish and rainbow fish, is one of the world's most widely distributed tropical fish and one of the most popular freshwater aquarium fish species. Guppies originated in South America. They are native to Antigua and Barbuda, Brazil, Guyana, Jamaica, the Netherlands, Antilles, Trinidad and Tobago, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Venezuela. Guppies often school together to avoid predation. Guppies are known for their large, colorful, beautiful fins. 
in tropical fish competitions, there's a good chance that the guppy wins. The betta fish. The Siamese fighting fish, also known as the betta fish, is a popular fish in the aquarium trade. Betas are a member of the gourami family and are known to be highly territorial. Males in particular are prone to high levels of aggression and will attack each other if housed in the same tank. If there is no means of escape, this will usually result in the death of one or both of the fish. This species is native to the Me Mekong Basin of Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam, and is mostly concentrated in the Chow Phraya River in Thailand. The fish can be found in standing waters of canals, rice paddies, and flood plains. Also known as Siamese fighting fish, the betta fish is Thailand's national aquatic animal. This fish feeds on zooplankton, crustaceans, and the larvae of mosquitoes. A scene in the James Bond film from Russia with Love shows three Siamese fighting fish in an aquarium as the villain Ernst Stauro Blofeld likens the modus operandi of his criminal organization, Spectre, to one of the fish that observes as the other two fight to the death, then kills the weakened winner. It's all rather troubling, leading one to an inclination to not enjoy his dinner. The Bozeman's Rainbow Fish This fish is endemic to the Ayamaru Lakes and their tributaries in a mountainous region of the Bird's Head Peninsula. West Papua on the island of New Guinea, Indonesia, Southeast Asia. This fish is also available in the aquarium hobby, where it is prized for its, its excellent colors and peaceful demeanor. Like most rainbow fish, they are capable of adjusting their color intensity. For tropical fish enthusiasts, the Bozeman's rainbow fish is a creature for which they may have an affection propensity. The freshwater angelfish. This fish is native to the Amazon River Basin in Peru, Colombia, and Brazil in South America, particularly to the Ucayali River in Peru, the Oyapuk River in French Guiana, the Essequibo River in Guyana, and the Solimos, the Amapa, and the Amazon Rivers in Brazil. It is found in swamps or flooded grounds where vegetation is dense, and the water is either clear or silty. This fish feeds on juvenile fishes, prawns, and worms. <coughs> the freshwater angelfish was first imported to Europe, to Hamburg, Germany, in 1909. As a boy, I had an aquarium with tropical fish. I had an angelfish, a real beauty. He was mine. The clown killifish. This fish is native to the freshwater habitats in Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone in West Africa. It seems like a magical, magical fish, something associated with abracadabra. The Ram Sichlid. This fish is a freshwater fish endemic to the Orinoco River Basin in the savannas of Venezuela and Colombia in South America. The Ram Sichlid is a popular aquarium fish traded under a variety of common names, including Ram, Blue Ram, German Blue Ram, Asian Ram, Butterfly, Sichlid, Ramirez's Dwarf Sichlid, Dwarf Butterfly Sichlid, and Ramirezi. This sure is a pretty fish, as pretty as can be. Blue Galaris Killifish. Blue Galaris are one of the most stunning killifish due to the sublime coloration of adult males combined with their maximum size. They normally inhabit swampy parts of coastal rainforests in the African countries of Nigeria and Cameroon. This species is, is an accomplished jumper. The blue gularis is such a beautiful fish. For some, seeing one would fulfill a very important wish. The discus fish. The discus fish is in the Sichlids genus and is a native of the Amazon River Basin of South America. Due to their distinctive shape, behavior, bright colors, and patterns, Discus are popular as freshwater aquarium fish, and their aquaculture in several countries in Asia is a major industry. They are sometimes referred to as pompadour fish. This fish is highly social, typically occurring in groups that may number in the dozens of individuals. 
Adult discus produce a secretion through their skin, which their offspring larvae live off during their first four weeks of life. Their striking appearance has earned them, earned them the nickname King of the Aquarium. In home aquariums, discus live for an average of 10 years. Like many fish in the home aquarium, they will eat almost anything that fits within their mouth. Each year, the World Discus Competition takes place in Guangzhou, China. What a beautiful creature! One of so many in the vast world of nature. Flower Horn Sichlid Flower Horn Sichlids are ornamental aquarium fish noted for their vivid colors and the distinctively shaped heads for which they are named. Their head protuberance or caulk is formally termed a nutshell hump. Like blood parrot Sichlids, they are man-made hybrids that exist in the wild only because of their release. Flower horns first emerged for sale on the aquarium market in Malaysia in the late 1990s and soon became popular in many countries in Asia. First developed in Malaysia, Thailand, and Taiwan, they became very popular for Asian fish hobbyists. Flower horns lifespan 10 to 12 years. What an interesting, beautiful fish. For the flower horn sitchlid, three cheers. The arowana. Arowanas are freshwater bony fish. The head is bony and the elongated body is covered by large, heavy scales with a mosaic pattern of canals. The arowana is an excellent jumper. They have been seen leaping more than six feet from the water surface to pick off insects and birds from overhanging branches in South America, hence the nickname water monkeys. Arowanas typically grow to around two to three feet in captivity. They are known for their aggressive behavior personality. They are mouth breeders, the parents sometimes holding hundreds of eggs in their mouths. The arowana comes from Asia, South America, Australia, and Africa. With that bony head, it must have plenty of stamina. The peacock gudgeon. This fish is native to the eastern part of Papua New Guinea in the South Pacific Ocean. They live in schools, in rivers, and ponds. The body coloration is bluish and silvery with pink, yellow, and black marks along the body and fins. The peacock gudgeon is an extremely beautiful fish. A member of the goby family, this fish is truly a freshwater oddball ball that will not only thrive but will often spawn in the home aquarium. The peacock gudgeon is a peaceful fish. For aquarium lovers, having one of these creatures at home would satisfy an important wish. The firefish goby, also known as the fire goby, magnificent firefish, fire dartfish, or red fire goby. This is a species of dartfish native to the Indian and Pacific Oceans from the eastern coast of Africa to the Hawaiian Islands and from the Austral Islands of French Polynesia to the Ryukyu Islands of Japan. It is an inhabitant of coral reefs where it can be found at depths of 6 to 70 meters, 20 to 230 feet. Usually found just above the bottom, face current, and wait, they face the current and wait for their prey, small invertebrates. They feed on brine shrimp, missus shrimp, and sometimes zoo plankton in aquaria. They should be fed two times a day. They are considered reef safe and they are peaceful and sociable. They can be found at many online and local fish or pet stores. The firefish goby sometimes jumps out of the water. They will make schools if many are put into a tank. <coughs> Seeing this fish would lead one to have the tendency to be happy. And for this blessing, thank. The designer clownfish. Clownfish hatch near the surface. As juveniles, they travel to the bottom of the ocean to find shelter in a, in a host anemone. Once they find their anemone, they form a symbiotic relationship with them. The clownfish is small and has a stocky appearance and an oval shape. This fish is found in the eastern Indian Ocean and western Pacific Ocean. They also can be found in northern Australia, southeast Asia, and Japan. Clownfish are reliant on sea anemone for shelter. They feed on plankton and algae. The protag protagonists, Marlin and his son Nemo from the animated film Finding N Nemo, and its sequel Finding Dory, are clownfish. These delightful movies satisfied many folks' entertainment wish. The lionfish. 
The lionfish is native to the Indian and Pacific Oceans, the Indo-Pacific. It is also called the fire, firefish, turkey fish, tasty fish, and butterfly cod. It is characterized by conspicuous warning colorations with red, white, creamy, or black bands, showy pectoral fins, and venomous spiky fin rays. The lionfish is a popular aquarium fish. It can be harmful to humans. Juvenile lionfish have a unique tentacle located above their eye sockets. Females release two mucus-filled egg clusters frequently, which can contain as many as 15,000 eggs. When hunting, the lionfish blows jets of water while approaching prey, apparently to disorient them. Lionfish have few predators because of their venomous spines. In humans, this venom, venom can cause extreme pain, nausea, fever, and convulsions, and even paralysis, heart failure, and death. Well, golly, that would mean taking one's last breath. The marine beta also known as the comet, this is a reef-associated tropical marine fish native to the Indo-Pacific Ocean. The comet is nocturnal by nature and will hide under ledges and in holes during the day. They possess an eye-like shape, which is exact, actually the dorsal fin. When in danger, this fish will poke its head in a hole and expose its tail end, which mimics the head of the moray eel. Well, this is a wonderful fish. It's the real deal. The queen angelfish. This is a marine angelfish commonly found in the warmer sections of the western Atlantic Ocean. It is also called the blue angelfish, golden angelfish, queen angel, and yellow angelfish. The queen angelfish may live up to 15 years in the wild and reach up to 45 centimeters or 17 inches in length. This creature feeds primarily on sponges, but also tunicates, jellyfish, corals, plankton, and algae. Juveniles serve as cleaners and feed on parasites of larger fish at cleaning stations. Queen angelfish are common near Florida, especially the Florida Keys, and also the Bahamas and the Gulf of Mexico. It ranges as far south as Brazil and as, and as north to Long Island. The female can release from 25 to 75,000 eggs each evening and as many as 10 million eggs during each spawning cycle. The queen angelfish is a real beauty. For fish enthusiasts, seeing one must be a real duty. The regal angelfish. Also known as the royal angelfish, this creature is a marine angelfish found in the tropical Indo-Pacific Ocean. This fish is found in the Red Sea and Indian Ocean around East Africa and the Maldive Islands stretching to the Tuamotu Islands, New Caledonia, and the Great Barrier Reef. Their northernmost limits are of its range ends in the southern East China Sea around Taiwan and the Ryukyu Islands. First described in 1772 by the Dutch naturalist Peter Bodert, it has been the subject of 18th and 19th centuries zoological art. The regal angelfish is considered to be harmless to humans and has minor commercial use in the aquarium industry. What a fine fish with an amazing personality! The Flame Angelfish This marine angelfish is found in the tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean. It is also known as the Flame Angel, Flaming Angelfish, and Japanese Pygmy Angelfish. The lifespan is five to seven years or more. It is found in various reefs of Oceania, most common in the Marshall, Line, and Cook Islands. The Flame Angelfish is known to be shy upon introduction to an established aquarium. Within a week it will gain confidence and is then constantly seen grazing around live rock during the day. The flame angelfish is heremic in the wild. Regarding those who see this fish, they smiled. The Anularis angelfish, also known as the blue ring angelfish and blue king angelfish. This creature is found in the Indo-West Pacific Oceans from East Africa throughout Indonesia and New Guinea to New Caledonia and north to southern Japan. They inhabit coastal reefs, caves, and shipwrecks. These angelfish live in harem. The male defends a territory and, and controls a few females. They feed on zooplankton, sponges, algae, and tunicates. In the aquarium, they are algae grazers but consume fish and coral flesh as well. This is another fascinating, fascinating fish. Golly gee whiz, it sure is swell. The lagoon triggerfish. 
Also known as the black bar triggerfish, the Picasso triggerfish, or the Picasso fish, this creature is found on reefs in the Indo-Pacific region. The Hawaiian name is Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apua'a. It is the state fish of Hawaii. This fish lives in reefs and sandy areas of coral reefs where it eats just about everything that comes along. What a wonderful fish! This fellow leads one to an inclination to break out into song. The Crosshatch Triggerfish The common name trigger comes from a unique characteristic of the first dorsal spine. It can be locked into an upright position and held in place by the second dorsal spine. At the first sign of danger, triggerfish bolt for the nearest crevice and trigger their built-in locking me mechanism. Once secured in place, they are near impossible to remove. This creature can swim forward and backwards. Many possess a certain personality, which is endearing. It looks like a torpedo on the move. This fish is located in the tropical and subtropical eastern and western Pacific Oceans, but occur mostly around smaller, isolated oceanic islands. It is a, it is, it is a fish that is mellow. What an interesting fellow! The Clown Triggerfish This creature has a large head, which represents one-third of the body length. This fish is widely distributed throughout the subtropical waters of the Indian Ocean until the western Pacific Ocean and western Atlantic Ocean from Florida, the Caribbean, and Gulf of Mexico. The clown triggerfish is solitary and defends a territory. It is one of the most highly prized aquarium fish because of its attractive coloration. The clown triggerfish can become tame enough to be hand-fed. However, one should be aware of the fish's sharp teeth. It eats sea urchins, crustaceans, and mollusks. This fellow appears to be wearing clown makeup. Encountering a clown triggerfish may lead to a reaction of, Whoa, what's up? The Mandarin Fish This creature is popular in the saltwater aquarium trade. It is native to the Pacific Ocean, ranging approximately from the Ryukyu Islands south to Australia. This fish was first described by Albert William Hare in America an American fish scientist in the Philippines in 1927. The mandarin fish reminds one of the robes of an imperial Chinese mandarin. They are reef dwellers preferring sheltered lagoons and inshore reefs. They are slow moving. This fellow has a layer of smelly and bitter slime instead of scales, which blocks, blocks out disease and discourages predators. The mandarin fish appeared on postage stanch stamps from Laos in 1987 and the Federated, Federated States of Micronesia in 1993. What a beautiful fish! Golly gee! Well, that concludes today's presentation. Good luck to you with your efforts in, in, in learning and discovery. You might consider checking out our website, <coughs> Adventures in History with Peter J. Ray at peterjray.com. So far, we've made 704 history videos in seven areas, world history, American history, book reviews, poetic tours, Cleveland baseball, family history, and autobiography. If you live in Metro Manila, Philippines, and are looking for a high school, you might consider Restless Educational Center. Restless is located on Allenby Street in Barangay Maytunas, San Juan, Metro Manila, Philippines, not far from the corner of P. Guevara and Wilson Street. At Restless, we specialize in helping young people who have had difficulty in the larger traditional schools. We strive to be innovative and creative, and the school is more than a school. It's a warm, supportive community. The, uh, and the website is restless.education, R-E-S-A-L-E-S-T. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.